Hey there, I'm Hannah, your Excel teacher from Sheet Leveler, and today we're diving into one of the most useful tricks in Excel, how to check if a cell is blank using an IF statement. If you've ever needed a formula to check whether a cell is empty and return a specific result, this is for you. By the end of this video, you'll know two simple methods to do this, plus a bonus tip on avoiding that annoying number divide by zero error. So grab your Excel sheet, follow along, and let's get started. Let's say we have a property issue tracker with different properties, the date an issue was reported, the issue type, and whether it's been completed. Now we need to fill in the status column. If the issue has a completion date, the status should be closed. If there's no completion date, the status should be open. So how do we tell Excel to check whether a cell is blank? Excel has a built-in function called isBlank, which checks whether a cell is empty and returns true or false. Let's test it out. Formula equals isBlank, open parenthesis, E2, close parenthesis. When I drag this formula down, I get true if the cell is blank, false if it's filled. Now let's put this inside an IF statement to get the words open or closed instead of just true or false. Final if statement equals if open parenthesis is blank e2 comma open comma closed close parenthesis. Now when I copy this down, I get open for blank cells, closed for filled cells. And just like that, we have a working status tracker. If you don't want to use is blank, there's another way to check for empty cells using two double quotes. Alternative formula equals if open parenthesis e2 equals double quotes, comma, open, comma, closed, close parenthesis. This does the same thing as is blank, so you can choose whichever method you prefer. Now let's move on to another common problem, dividing by zero. We have a call center log with employees, total calls, and dropped calls. We want to calculate the percentage of dropped calls using this formula. Formula equals D2 divided by C2. It looks great until we copy it down and suddenly see the dreaded div error for empty cells. One way to fix this is to use an IF statement to check if the cell is blank before dividing. Formula equals AF, open parenthesis, eyes blank C2, comma, double quotes, comma, D2 divided by C2, close parenthesis. Now, if the total calls column is empty, instead of an error, we just see a blank cell. As soon as data is entered, the formula works perfectly. Another way to do this which I personally love because it's super simple, is by using the if error function. Formula equals if error, open parenthesis, d2 divided by c2, comma, double quotes, close parenthesis. What does this do? If there's no error, it calculates the percentage as usual. If there is an error, like dividing by zero, it just shows a blank cell instead. This method is a bit cleaner and easier to write, so if you love shortcuts, if error is your best friend, and there you have it. You now know two ways to check for blank cells in an IF statement, and two ways to prevent the divi error. Now I have a challenge for you. Try both methods in your own Excel sheet. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more Excel tips, and I'll see you in the next one.